The same that was in the f***ing recording office when I was going through this court case. Things are not looking good for Black China. She is currently under investigation for battery for allegedly kicking a woman at a bar. This all went down in Los Angeles on Friday night. As you guys know, Black China just lost her defamation lawsuit against the Kardashians. So this this incident isn't a great look for Black China, but we're going to go in with the mindset that she is innocent until proven guilty. But unfortunately, there are some receipts. So Black China's victim is claiming that she kicked her in her stomach and broke her phone. Okay, I have to say, I've seen a lot of broken phones in my life. And girl, this is a scratch. Like, I mean, it is broken. You could tell that it's cracked up and stuff. But I mean, iPhones just don't break like they used to. Like, don't you remember when we were younger or whatever? You know, years ago, those iPhones used to break like crack all open i feel like this one probably still works like just pull off the screen protector and eh, yeah the back's a little cracked up but that's the alleged phone there is some footage of this incident that we're gonna break down later in this video but let's talk about why this fight ever started in the first place black china's alleged victim is sequoia king and she is accusing black china of taking her iphone slamming it to the ground and kicking her in the stomach obviously we just took a look at the phone but the reason why black china targeted this woman and her device is because she believed that Sequoia and a bunch of other people were filming her in the bar or outside the bar and Black China did not like that. So of course Black China confronted Sequoia and Sequoia claims that she and Black China got into a verbal dispute which turned physical. Sequoia says that China took her phone out of her hand, slammed it to the ground, damaging it. She also claims that Black China kicked her in the stomach causing her to fall down. And Sequoia actually claims that she was not filming Black China. How can we prove this? I mean, I don't know. I guess you go and look at the, at the like the photos app or something. But um, she claims that she was not filming Black China, even though Black China accused her of doing so. Sequoia then claims that Black China lost her cool because she believed that she was taking a video of her without her permission. And it sounds like when Black China kicked Sequoia in the stomach, this made her lose her balance and she fell to the ground. And Black China got out of there. She was rushed into her car and her friends got her away from the scene because honestly, Honestly, Black China, like, she she does not need a charge right now. She's got so much going on in her life. This charge is not, not a good look. And this victim, Sequoia King, has filed a battery report with the Los Angeles Police Department. So really, this is a terrible look for China. I mean, she just, again, lost this defamation lawsuit against the Kardashians. And, I mean... Rob Kardashian accused her of getting violent with him, getting physical with him. So if she's, you know, getting physical and violent with people out in public, like, girl, that's, like, bad for your reputation. So TMZ did obtain a video. I believe that Sequoia or someone sold it to TMZ because they now, like, own copyright over it. But I want to show you a few little snippets because we can't play the whole thing here. Honestly, there's not much to take away. I'll show you exactly what we need to look at because the video's short, it's messy, the filming is bad, but there are some important parts. Okay, so I'm not playing anything here, but I just want you to see that this right here is our girl Sequoia. Um, hopefully I'm saying her name right. I think I am. And then we've got Black China in the back in purple. So I just kind of want you to see that this is a video that does include Black China. So see, there's our girl Black China over here. So um, and at this point, there's some yelling, there's some back and forth. You can't make out a lot of what they're saying. But then there is a snippet where you can hear the victim bring up the fact that Black China kicked her and her, quote, I believe she says, fat stomach. Pay close attention. Can you fight me? Can you fight me? Can you feel good when you kicked me in my fat she ass did. stomach? She did. She I did. So there she is acknowledging that she was in fact kicked by Black China. And here's some more footage from TMZ. Um, you can see there's Black China and there's the 
I guess the victim right here. Um, you don't actually see anything physical go down on camera. You kind of just see Black China like walking around and just kind of yelling. Um, there she is over there. And there are actually a few points where she does refer to her case in court. Um, here you even see Black China leaving the scene and getting into the car. So you could only assume that maybe this was after the physical altercation. But there was a moment where Black China was referring to her case and people bringing it up. And here's a little snippet. Try to pay attention to what she's saying because it's hard to make out. The same that was in the fucking recording office. When I was going through this fucking court case, was your court thought that, that shit? So even Black China understands that this is just not, this is not it. And, you know, getting physical and heated and violent with people, it's they're just not worth your energy. Like, I feel like Black China, like, from a friend perspective, like, I feel like you have leveled up to the point where you just don't go and fight randos in public. And, like, being recorded and having your photos taken, like, that's just part of it. That's part of, like having this career of course black china and her team have nothing to say about this incident and honestly i don't think they will ever address it there's really nothing for them to say i mean what's their excuse unless they have another story that black china maybe was hit by this person and defended herself by kicking her but shoot this like battery investigation by lapd is just it's not good and i i mean i do feel like Will charges actually come out of this? Mm, probably not. They'll just investigate it. And, you know, Black China will say, you know, whatever she did to me. And are they really going to go that far to go and pull tapes and investigate it all? Maybe so. But uh, in these cases, probably not because the victim isn't seriously injured. In my personal opinion, I do feel like something went down here. There have been past instances like the one girl who was locked up in China's hotel room and then the airport incident. And honestly, I don't know what happened in detail when it comes to those situations. But this is just another another one to add on to the list which i'm not happy to announce but here's my email if you guys have any other video ideas for me let's go ahead and open this peel box package item i'm actually really excited about it because it looks really cool it's got like stars all over it like black with gold stars and it says capricorn jones and it's actually from literally the city i was just in and i'll be on friday so Capricorn Jones, if you want to hang out on Friday or something, well, I'll be in, um, yeah, you literally, yeah, it's a city in Virginia. So yeah, I was just there for a few days. That's so sweet. Capricorn Jones. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So we've got a lot of cute stickers right here. I really love the circle one that says caught a vibe. Makes me think of the Willow song, caught a vibe. <gasps> oh my gosh, please don't ever do that again, Sloan. <laughs> Dear son, just wanted to send you a little something to say thank you for all the work you do. Aww. I love your channel and usually have you up in the background so I can get the tea while working. I love the way you present the info in a professional and personable way. Stay awesome, Jonesy. She, her. Oh, very nice. Well, I didn't mess up your pronouns, but the Capricorn Jones is so cute. Love that. And I love that you're from like a place that I like spend a lot of time at. I don't want to like dox you or anything. <gasps> Oh my gosh, stop. You guys know that I've been working on my merch like line for a minute. Let's get into it. Oh, I love it. It reminds me of my Facebook page. So I have a company that helps run my Facebook page and they re-edit my videos. And like they do this purple background in my videos. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, so sweet. This is so nice. I'm so excited. And I could really use this. And wow, it is really well made. It's not like I can't like peel this off. Like this is on there. Wow. I am so impressed. I'm going to link everything below. So impressed. <laughs> and hit me up if you want to hang out sometime, Jonesy, because I'm always in that city. I'll be there literally this weekend. And then I'll be I'll be in LA. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking, when are you going to LA? When are you going to LA? I'm going to LA now. So, anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for the bag. I love it. And these stickers are awesome. I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.